Hey guys, welcome back. Lesson 37, we're going to add and subtract some, uh, decimal numbers. Let's go with, uh, first off, you know, if you see this, 324 plus 91 plus 1,085 you know, or something like that. You know the rule is when you add these together, you don't just go, oh, 324 plus you know, 91 plus 1,000, you're not going to get the right answer. What you need to do is you need to line these up according to what their digits are. This is the ones, the four ones, this is the one one, and this is the five ones, right? So they need, those need to be lined up. What I usually do is put the longest one on the top, just to kind of put it up there so I can see it better. And then, I don't know, the next one, 324, and then 91. Just make sure you're lining up all the ones, places, all the tens, all the hundreds, and the thousands, if there are any, whatever, we don't bother to do that. The rules for adding decimals are exactly, well, they're very similar. So if you have, I don't know, 3.24 plus 0.91 plus 1.085, well, you're gonna, what you're gonna do this time is you're going to line up the decimals. And what'll happen is if you line up the decimals, all the other, like the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands of the integers, the whole numbers will be lined up automatically and you'll have uh, all these numbers, you know, let's actually put this, make this 240. So let's go, we can do this in any order if you want, 3.240 and then 0.91 and then 1.085. Now you can add down here. Now if you know if there isn't something right here, you can just say there's nothing there. You can put a zero there to make it you know, easier for yourself or whatever. So that's the only rule about adding and subtracting decimal numbers pretty much. We'll get to this in a second. Okay, let's try one. Pause and copy if you need to. And just write it straight down. And go ahead, you know, go ahead and do that. And I'll, I'll wait for you to do that. Just pause it. Okay, all right. 3.4 is how you're going to write it. 0.26 and then 0.3. All right? All you need to do is add straight down. There's nothing here. If you want to write that, that's okay. By the way, you should notice... Three and four tenths, that's what this is, that's how you read that, is the same thing as three and forty hundredths, right? Four out of ten is the same thing as forty out of a hundred, right? This is <clears throat> 26 hundredths, and then this is three tenths, right? If you want to write a zero here, you can, and that's perfectly logical, right? Because three tenths is the same thing as three, th excuse me, thirty hundredths, but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. Zero plus six plus zero is six, four plus two plus three is nine, and then you. There we go. 3.96 is your answer. Okay, let's try another one. 4.56 minus 2.3. Same thing. Line up the decimals. Now, you might look at this and go, well, 4.56 minus, and I'm going to go 2.3. Oh, no, what do I do with this one? You know, if you want to, you can stick a zero there. You don't have to because 2.3, in other words, 2 and 3 tenths, is the same thing as 2 and 30 hundredths. 30 out of 100, in other words, is the same thing as 3 out of 10, right? So if that's handy for you and you like it, go ahead, do it. 6 minus 0, 5 minus 3, 4 minus 2. Two, got it, okay. You might have been a little faster. All right, and that's pretty much it, okay? So let's go to a page, whatever we're on. Is it 194? Bunch of problems. There's like 5,000 problems today. So we'll do one at a time. So pause it and try A. Okay, there we go. 3.66. Just line it up. 3.46 plus 0.2. Boom. There you go. Okay, pause it and try B. That's 2.18. Pause it and try C. <clears throat> All right, 0.945. Make sure you line those up. You don't need the zero if you don't want to. Pause it and try D. All right, 0.333, pause it and try E. Okay, you should have gotten 0.943, pause it and try F. All right, 0 0.03 is F. All right, pause it and try, pause it and try G. And that'll be 1.3, pause it and try H. 0.76, all right, I, pause it there. Okay, that should be. 1.02. By the way, very quickly, uh, 0.9 plus 0.12. Make sure that you don't like do 0.09 or something like that. It just looks like this. 
and it looks kind of awkward hanging out there. But again, if you like doing this, just really quickly do it like that. If it helps you to visualize it and, you know, uh, you know, do it. Go ahead. Point at nine tenths is the same thing as 90 hundredths, right? Who cares what way you write it? Stick a zero on there. All right, last one, pause it and try J. All right, that'll be 0.83. This is the setup, 1.23 minus 0.4. There you go, okay. All right, have a great day doing the problem sets, uh, set today. Do your warm-ups, get faster at them. See you next time.